One Friday was not made for the church. The fact that it has a religious theme and that I use St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians about faith, hope, and charity uh, is because I couldn't help it. I can't help but making it somewhat, somewhat religious, even if I don't intend to. The baby in the picture was uh, a little over two years old. And the violence is escalating at an alarm. Uh, it's amazing how many things he did that we couldn't make him do, but he did spontaneously, like one of the victims of the neighborhood wars, the corpse is hanging in the tree, and it's a high angle shot, and the baby is running after the dog. He stops and looks up. We couldn't get him to do that. He did it. And there are some things I wish I could shoot over, but very few. Now, I was in New York seeing a lot of my friend Roy Inman, who plays the guy in the African tip in Parable. One Friday, the idea came from an evening I had in, when I was living in New York. Uh, while in Chicago, I was, a, for a while, I was a TV, television director, producer. And during that period, I really missed the theater. So I volunteered and became director of a all African American theater and ran uh, workshops for them, you know, theater workshops and improv stuff and uh, building techniques and all of that. And so I felt very close to the African American community. I was kind of very much accepted. That theater, which then called itself Drama Incorporated, and the woman who ended up running it, Joan Brown, has since become the black theater in Chicago. So Roy and I would go, and we'd often go to parties, I'd be invited through Roy, that were primarily African-American. And this was a period in the 60s. And the thing is, there were some very, very militant young African-Americans who believed, sincerely believed, there was going to be a revolution. Neighborhood by neighborhood, city by city, farm by farm, the black community was going to take over. And one actually, one fellow I like, as met before, said, trying to make his point, said, uh, um, you know, I may have I may have to kill you, man. I may have to kill you and your family. But we got it. We got to make our statement. But when he got into killing me and my family, and I had this little kid who appears in the film, and I was very happily married, and it just hit me because I'd always worked in my way for civil rights. If that's, and it was around the time the bill was being passed or had just been passed. It was a time when the Black Panthers were making news, you know. Well, I was kind of hurt by this. And what's gonna solve it? I mean, we can't have racial warfare, neighborhood by neighborhood. And this is what they were talking about. And 
out of that thinking came the film and and the words of Paul of Tarsus St. Paul from the letter to the Corinthians the, be, being in effect but the most important thing Paul was a good writer by the way I mean his writing is very good some of it but he ends it by saying you know the he was led by faith, hope, and love, charity or love. And the, but the greatest of these is love. 